Milton Watkins loves to hold pieces of history in his hand. So, he's made a career out of restoring ancient books using a craftsmanship that is rarely seen and has almost been lost. We're not permanently here on this earth. We're made for a certain amount of time. We're unlucky having that because books, if they get restored the right way, they can last hundreds of years and you can read the memories of those books. I'm Milton and this is my story. This is probably the oldest I have. This is a book on plants, 1575. So it's got a lot of age to it. Just thinking back of who's actually held that book for the last 400 years. And books last from th those times ago because they were made the right way. If books were made like that today, they'd be lasting hundreds of years. Quite a lot of work to do to it. I've got to do some binding in the same period because as you can see, this leather is very brittle. So that could be a bit, a bit of a challenge. Definitely handcrafted work and it's a lot of dedication. Probably 98% of the time is operating some hand tool and all of them are one-offs. They're all bespoke bindings because I work with my hands all the time. Milton fell into loving book binding by chance when he was offered an apprenticeship in 1980. I uh, wanted to be an electrician when I left school or a plumber until I saw what plumbers actually do and then changed my mind slightly about that one. My first job was in Milton on Milton Road and my name is Milton so it was uh, quite an interesting, I was in a bindery of all places managing a binding outfit that they had there. So when you get stuck I can come and help you. Or well, when I get old, too old to work, <laughs> I can just tell you what to do. Oh. Well, you will know, you know exactly what to do. <laughs> Yes, I married my wife 27 years ago. Her name's Lavella. She did childcare for 30 odd years and we started bookbinding together in a shop we had in Ballarat, Victoria. Remember the first one you did? I know, I was so scared. Well, it was 15, 20 years ago. Easily. You were showing me how to do all this and how I to know. do it all. And for 10 years we worked together and I taught her quite a lot of techniques and she's very good at what she does. Oh, you're doing pretty good there. My wife was very beneficial to what I do today. Where I fell down, she picked me up and told me to keep going. It's always said it looked great, even though it might not have. Produced the indentation. Yeah, well, it's a long time ago that I made this one. Milton uses many different tools, some unique and quite ancient. From hand tools to large book presses, he has everything he needs to restore and create his beautiful work. And his quality work has attracted the business of a variety of people. I've had to bind a book for the Pope and I've had to bind a book for Prince Charles. It's amazing, the word of mouth is very strong about if you do a good job, it goes up in the world. It can be the Pope, Prince Charles, right down to Joe Blow down the street that's got an old paperback book that's falling apart that they can't buy anymore. These books have been in families for hundreds of years. Some collect the books are worth a lot of money. In fact, I rebound a book about chicken breeding from the 1940s and the guy bought it off eBay and paid $10,000 for it. And it was just a messed up book. But it's amazing where they come from and what they're worth. So I've really got to look after them, make sure they get, they're going to be happy with what they get back and, and it's possibly worth more. I like old things. I collect old things. I've got the old 1923 Pianola, which we love and works well to a 1961 Cadillac that I enjoy driving. It sort of all comes back to how I look after things that are old and I like to treasure them and keep them so it can be then handed on to the next person. Times are very fickle nowadays. You know, some people might have a job for a long time, but how long are they going to have that job before it becomes obsolete? I'm really hoping that it will be taken over and continued on. If you'd like to restore your very own 400 year old book, or maybe something more recent, or just have something custom bound, get in touch with Milton. After the break, a local movie theatre that's called the heart of three generations and an outback town. Hello. 